uh, to create a service account okay you have to first of all open I am an admin okay just click on here okay and go to I am dashboard we will be creating a service account this will be uh, used uh, later on our video so you have to just create a new account okay when you are on I am an admin page just go to service account and here we will create the service account okay create a service account just give a name uh, I will give name YouTube video okay so simple you can just give name tutorial okay so this is how it will be created just create and continue we are not going to give access right now for just uh, create it and complete it so our account is created you can see this service account is created okay no we have to just give a one access here just go to the IAM okay so here we will uh, grant access to our new account just click on grant access okay you have to select your uh, YouTube or video service account okay and then here we will just be giving access storage okay storage admin okay just give this access and save it okay and here you will see and yeah if you just go back to your service account just click on these three dots manage keys and just create a new key in the JSON file it will download the JSON file we will use this JSON file uh, on our github actions okay so just uh, save this file okay let me create it my file is now created okay so no we have created our service account this is uh, done it is very simple to create a service account on Google Cloud no we have to just add two things which is uh, these credentials on our github actions okay and the second thing is we have to add a secret variable which is a Google project name this is my project name okay and I will be just going to you add this on the github actions as well so your project name can be uh, different okay so what I am going to do here okay I will just going to push my code on the github first of all okay this is my project okay uh, first update I'm just going to push my code onto the github publish branch okay public um, because I'll be sharing this with you guys so I'm just keeping it public but you can uh, keep your uh, repo in a private okay I will just open this this is my okay project okay how we have to add this JSON file that we have downloaded just click on settings and go here to the secrets okay click on actions and here you have to click on new repository secret okay so we will be just uh, in your doing this to uh, add secret that will be required later on our video okay so I will just going to uh, create our first variable which will be Google application credentials okay this is the same C, uh, file JSON file that we have uh, created I will be just open this file okay and we will just copy the content of this file and I will add this content here it is very simple okay so just let me open this okay so this is the content I will just copy this all the JSON file content okay and I will close this file and I will paste it here simple okay so we have to just save it okay this is our first secret we have to add then we have to add our Google project name okay so I will just click on new okay Google project okay so if you go your uh, Google project and if you click here this is your Google project ID okay just copy this okay ID and paste it simple so we have added our required uh, secret okay so what we have done here in this part we done creating our service account and we have done uh, adding these secrets into our 
uh, GitHub Actions. Okay. Okay. Now what we have to do here, we have to add our GitHub Actions self-hosted runner using a uh, Google Compute Engine. Okay. So to create a Google Compute Engine instance, just go to Compute Engine, VM Instances. Here we will create a first instance. Okay. Just click on Create Instance. Okay, just keep these settings simple and here you have to change the uh, storage size to 30 GB. So I will click on 30 GB. I will just update it with the 30 GB. Okay, just select it and save it. Okay, because we will be running some few testing. So 10 GB will be very, very less. So 30 GB will be enough. Okay, next you have to allow uh, the traffic HTTP and HTTPS just create this instance it's very simple to create instance okay so as our instance is being created okay next what we have to do we have to do SSH to our instance just do SSH to your instance okay so it is going to do SSH to our instance it can you know take uh, 20 seconds just you have to also wait here authorize it okay so we are now connected okay so I will just make the size bigger so you guys can also see it all right okay I think yeah the size is enough now so we are connected with our instance so now we are going to do one thing here, which is uh, I can say we are going to add our GitHub uh, uh, self-hosted runner to our Google Compute Engine. Okay, so do this. Okay, you have to just go to your GitHub repo. Okay, I will just go to my GitHub uh, repo. Okay, so if I just go to my GitHub repo in the Actions tab, just go, you have to go, just go to the Settings first. Okay then you have to just go to actions click on runners add a new self-hosted runner okay as we're using Linux base instance okay so you have to run these all these commands okay just um, skip this optional command okay so I will be just copying these commands one by one to uh, run on my instance to integrate okay my self-hosted runner on our instance okay let's copy this first command and you have to just go to your self-hosted runner okay just paste it it will just create a directory okay and secondly you have to copy the second command it will uh, download the latest uh, runner package okay so then you have to copy the third command okay I uh, just skip this optional okay so just install this uh, installer that, that is we have downloaded okay so just run this as well okay and the next you have to configure it just copy this command okay when you are done with this command just paste it here okay it will just authenticate here you have to enter few things okay first of all you have to skip and the second you have to enter the name I will just enter VUJS uh, Google Compute okay GC okay simple and then you have to give just same name vujs gc okay no you can see and also skip this it will by default working directory with this name okay so uh, this is configured okay next is uh, this step we will run this uh, step when we will be uh, running our github actions okay uh, this is the last step we will use uh, later on okay so by the way we have configured our self-hosted runner on google compute engine uh, instance okay it is connected it is very simple to connect the google uh, cloud uh, instance okay so you can use uh, uh, instance to for your self-hosted runner okay so this is done okay now what we have to do here we are going to do our next step 
we are going to install docker on our linux okay how to install docker first of all i will just clear this okay and so i can go to my uh, okay so we will install the docker here okay and then we will uh, install uh, sonar cube container and other things so let's first install uh, some packages okay i will be just running uh, these commands okay so we have uh, uh, ready to use this okay then i will just try to install jq as well okay so just update it i will uh, of course give you article so you can just use these commands okay so i'm just running these commands uh, one by one okay so in the next command we have to install docker the docker is being installed by the way if i show you my article like how you will uh, use my article for the command purposes okay so if i just open my article i think okay uh, this is article will be on the linkedin okay so suppose i am installing the docker here okay how i am installing the docker this is the part uh, five okay in the part five if i just show you here okay if you can see docker installation and running sonar cube container okay so these will be the commands you have to just run okay so your docker will be installed okay so i'm also doing this okay and if i just go back to my uh, instance okay next commands okay no we have to uh, create a username for our docker I will just give name code with move so you have to give the same name uh, like this was my uh, you know uh, username this is code with move you have to also give the name whatever your instance name is okay so just code with move okay then you have to just start the docker container okay uh, sorry docker so and the last command that we have to use here okay so we are run our docker installation and set up on our linux instance okay so uh, now we are going to create an artifact registry okay so we can push our image uh, to the google cloud okay so to create a registry okay you have to first uh, i will say you have to go to your uh, google cloud account okay and here you have to type artifact registry okay just click on it okay when this page will be opened we will create a repository but one thing i have to add here so make sure the api is installed okay uh, it's mean this api is active i have added this link in my article as well so suppose uh, you will need to enable this okay because it's written managed because it's enabled it will be on your side it can be enabled okay so you will just click on enable and it will be enabled so then you can use artifact uh, registry to push your images here okay so just uh, before we create a, a repository okay we have to give some permissions as well but yeah let's create a repository then we will uh, assign some permission to our service account okay so we have uh, then access to push image to our uh, repository i will just give name front end simple okay front end okay just keep it simple uh, region whatever you want to choose you can choose uh, i will choose us central one okay so it's up to you which uh, region do you want to choose okay so just choose your region okay and if you whatever the region is near with you okay i will just update with my us west one okay so this region i will be using west two mm, this region is not available okay us west two okay this one los angeles region okay our docker image simple okay here you have to just create this simple so our uh, repository is being created now okay it is created now what we have to do we have to create uh, we have to give access okay just go to iem okay and here you have to give access to your service account okay 
this was your service account which is available onto the IEM okay so we have to give some uh, access okay to give access you can just click on grant access select your service account YouTube video okay and here we will be giving some accesses okay uh, I will give the details here of first till yeah first access name is artifact okay artifact registry admin okay re mm, this is yeah this one we have to I think we just give access to the writer because we don't need admin access simple just click on this access okay if you want to add another access you can also add another role here as well so because we don't need to add any other uh, role we don't need to uh, add so I will just delete it so simple we are going to just write uh, to our uh, registry okay so if you want to give full access you can add maybe you can face any problems okay so I will also just give this access sorry artifact registry admin okay so just save just give these two access okay and save it simple okay so we have just given the access okay now what we are going to do here as our uh, image uh, what I will say artifact registry that we have created no we have to create a uh, uh, github actions of uh, workflow okay so that can build and push our image to the uh, here on the artifact registry no you have to just go to your wheel studio code okay and I will be just opening my wheel studio code here okay here we go okay done so here you have to create a workflow two dot I will just give name it's a simple name we can give a uh, build dot yaml okay so here we have to just uh, paste a content it will be available in my github repo which is in the video description okay I will just use this okay so this is a build workflow okay uh, this will be only executed when the first workflow is completed which is a Sunar uh, code review workflow okay so okay we are using self hosted and this is a credentials I'm using which I have already added uh, on our github okay and then here you see it will authenticate onto the github to the region which is US West 2 if your region is different make sure to replace it okay then we will be using a uh, tag as a github uh, 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 commit name okay it's a commit hash five six digit okay so this will be the for the tag uh, so I will be using uh, this variant github variant commit variant name and Google project name which we have already added on the github action simply okay so this is my uh, you know uh, region name okay and then and this is um, you know key secret okay so simple you can just use it and this was the name of the our artifact registry okay and this is my uh, image name okay you can also replace this if your image name is different and this is my tag which I am using variant okay uh, so simple so it will but just build and push the image to the docker hub okay so simply I will push it push okay docker image build push okay so just we will commit it before I commit I have to make sure my what I will say I will if I just go to my instance I have to make sure my runner is running okay so I can just confirm it CD get up actions okay and it's gone and dot run dot sh okay so it is all thing I think already running okay listening for the jobs simple so you have to know go and commit the code when the code is commit just go to the github okay here you have to go to the github you will see uh, first of all uh, it will uh, do the review of sonar cube because this is our first workflow when this is successfully completed 
then it will build our next which is I would say our docker image okay so we have to wait as soon as these two uh, th uh, workflows will be completed okay so first is not and the second is a build okay okay and if we just go here okay it is in the process so we have to wait okay so when this is successfully done what you will see here uh, if I go to the registry you will see our image will be pushed here okay so we have to just wait okay no you can see uh, sonar code review is done no it is you know uh, building our docker image and pushing to the docker hub okay it is executing all the steps one by one okay authenticating and it will install cube serial okay and it will do all these steps okay so we have to wait uh, till this is completed okay so almost it is done and you can see images being pushed to the artifact registry just go and refresh it okay just refresh it okay so you can see our images here this was my image name okay so you can see and this is our image which is the tag which, which was varian it is it is also pushed so we are done with this uh, image uh, building and pushing to the artifact